first of all, I want to say you will survive. Um, when it's your first child, I remember my daughter, um, she was in the band program at her high school and they started some summer band practice um, in early June right after school was out for the year and I drove her up there and I remember dropping her off and I had this sort of anxiety attack that said, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have a child old enough to be in high school. Is everything going to work out? And then I came to realize very quickly that it's just fun. Parent self-serve, that, that's an online um, thing that you can do as well to, to stay on top of their grades their attendance, their uh, tardies, and make it known to your child that you're doing it. Because if they see that you're going to be checking on them weekly or daily, I mean, you can check anywhere from any computer, uh, it's a lot harder for them to miss those assignments or to miss a class, and, and that keeps on top of them. And I have found that to be a very efficient tool. Check out the CCISD website. There's a vast amount of information on there. Lots of opportunities to get involved or find out about different programs. Now, what I will also say is I've heard many, many times from parents at the high school level when you ask them to get involved, their comment may be, well, you know, my daughter or son really doesn't want me to be involved. And what I say to them in a respectful way, of course, is really. Do you let your children tell you everything you do? My point is, is that I've looked at my kids when they've said that, and they may have mentioned it to me once. And I've looked at them and I've said, you know, I really respect the fact that you've voiced your, um, your opinion, but that's not an option. I will continue to stay involved. Parents sometimes make the mistake of thinking when their kids get older that they don't need them as much. In my opinion, they need them more. They're at an age where peer pressure has accelerated. They have access to more things, especially when they get to a point where they can drive. <clears throat> Parents need to be engaged and involved during that time more so than ever. And I don't mean that they're the helicopter parent that hovers over them and helps them make every single decision. They also need to learn that they're gonna be moving out of the nest and they have to learn to begin to operate as a responsible, soon to be adult. But they also need to know that the parent is a safety net and that, that they're there for them and clearly what the rules are. And by being involved as much as possible at the school, there's also that extra bonus of they know that there are people always monitoring and, and seeing their behavior and I believe that helps incent them to make good choices. The advice that I would give a freshman going into high school next year would have to be to not only do something that creates a passion inside of you, but also to reach out and touch the people in your community. Try to branch out from just sitting in your room and studying, take an active role in your academics, but also branch out and reach to the community, provide support to your peers, and um, really try to impact other people's lives keeping an organized schedule and uh, not procrastinating as much, uh, too much. It takes courage to you know, be yourself and not be afraid to worry about you know, what people are going to think about what you're doing or you know, just know what's important to you and just stick with that plan. Because we have such, such a diverse student population, you get to see things from different perspectives and um, open your eyes to how different people see things in different ways. Really, really stay up with your work. Um, I've learned over the years that the best thing to do is when you get an assignment, do it. <laughs> I've had too many long nights. and You need to be dedicated and, and try your best. I've spoken to a lot of students who think, well, you know, I'm going to go into college, I'm going to get a job, no matter what, things are going to work out. And they use that as sort of an excuse to not try, to not go the extra step, take those more difficult classes, and just to slack and do the bare minimum. However, I would argue and I would try and tell any incoming freshman that this, uh, this, this style of thinking, it's simply, it's not good enough. I mean, you're going to get by, but you might not have the same fulfillment that you would get if you actually tried, put forth your effort, uh, and did your best. 